What's up guys? It is day two in Madrid. I'm in my room. I am <clears throat> looking at gyms. Uh, I live in this general area right here. I think it's this block. And I found a gym right here and the metro that I take to go everywhere is right here. So here's my home. Here's the gym I'm looking at. Here's the metro. And really, I think this looks like the best bet. I am gonna try to get a month membership here and it looks freaking amazing from the pictures. I hope that's actually what it looks like. Uh, it is 8 a.m. right now. Uh, 10 a.m. is uh, the city orientation. We're finally in Madrid. I'm gonna show you guys around and uh, we're gonna get started. I start classes this Monday. Today is uh, Thursday, I believe, the 30th. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh, there it's clear. Okay, so this is my roommate. He goes by Cal, right? Yeah, and he speaks more Spanish than like he. He speaks Spanish, pretty much. He's a Spanish minor. Yeah, he's from Kansas. Um, but yeah, so we're both from the Midwest. Right now, we're going to the Orient, like the the city tour. But we're in we're in the metro right now, and uh, we got locked inside of our apartment. The I think he broke it last night. No, I'm just saying that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get on this metro. We're trying to make it by 10 o'clock, so the group might leave us, but if they do, like, we're just gonna do whatever we want. All right, guys, so this was the panoramic tour of Madrid, and it was on the bus, so I couldn't really get, the shots are through a window, so if it's not as clear to you guys, that's why. Uh, but Madrid is very, very uh, diverse in architecture. Um, if you can see from these shots, like everything is a, a lot of the architecture is very different, and you can really tell like every district of the city has a lot of personality, and I I absolutely love it here. So um, I've been here for about a week now, and a few things that you need to know about Spain is that obviously everyone speaks. Spanish. Um, their meals are later in the day, so they'll usually have lunch around two to four, and then dinner uh, around nine-ish, nine at night, and that kind of that can kind of throw you off. Um, and also, like if you're going to a bar or a restaurant or something, and there's a lot of napkins on the floor. I was just taking a shot of this guy, but if you're taking, if there's a lot of napkins on the floor, a lot of litter on the floor, that means it's actually a good spot to eat because uh, that is a symbol of good food. So it's not dirty, it's just considered uh, very good food. So here is the Park de Retiro, it's called Retiro Park, and it has a little lake in here. Uh, I think that's the next clip. I actually did go boating on this lake, but I didn't vlog it on the lake itself. Uh, it's very touristy, and there's a lot of Americans around this area. Okay, so I think I found the most uh, badass gym in Madrid. Up in here, it's called Alta Fit, and it's literally a two minute walk from my house here in Madrid. And right now, um, I, I hope you guys could see like the quality of the equipment. The, there was so much equipment that I couldn't even like, I wanted to just walk around tomorrow and see what's all available to me. But right now I'm gonna look for a power converter because that's the one thing I forgot to pack when I did pack uh, a power converter. So I don't have, my, the only thing that's charged is my phone, so I need my Beats charged, my Jaybird charged, my MacBook charged, and everything's just not charged. But I think there's a football game on tonight, so I'm gonna meet up with some of the guys in my program, and we're, I think we're meeting at a bar tonight to watch the game, so that's what I'm doing tonight. All right, so since coming to Spain, uh, I'm just gonna do a commentary over the push workout that I did. Since coming to Spain, I have been losing weight. Uh, this past week, I feel lighter. Um, in the gym, I feel more vascular and uh, uh, not this day, but uh, 
my recent workouts. I've I've been feeling more vascular just because I've been dropping weight. I don't I have not tracked any of my food here, and I'm just trying to hit my protein honestly. But I don't think I'm even hitting my protein. I'll probably I probably hit like 150 to 160 grams per day, and I'm shooting for more like 190 to 200. Uh, but that's just how it happens here. There's a lot of variables that go into the food here. Um, my host mom cooks me food and I did put into my application that I needed some some sort of meat for every meal and she has delivered on that. I just need more than what she's giving me. So I bought some whey protein at the gym but uh, that's what I have going on so far. During my workouts I uh, really think about what I'm going to eat uh, after just because I don't know uh, what's in store, but I got I have been doing double whoppers. I know that's horrible um, That I'm in Spain and I'm eating double whoppers every day, but it's the only way to hit uh, It's around 70 grams of protein for both They're big patties. So that is how I'm hitting my protein right now There's also there's no chipotle around here. It's called taco away I just had that today and it's pretty good. I just they just don't put enough chicken in the meat in the burritos uh, they're about a half to a third of the size of Chipotle one. So getting protein is definitely an issue here. So this shot right here, you can definitely tell that I'm holding a pump very well. Uh, this was mainly because I had a lot of carbs while I was traveling. And this was my first workout in Madrid. So um, I had a lot of carbs in me. And not that much. Not that much protein, but a lot of carbs. And... Yeah, I hit, um, I'm doing the Beast Mode Split by Chris Jones. I decided to buy some sort of bodybuilding program because I'm not going to really get to focus on powerlifting while I'm in, I'm in Madrid, to be honest, just because it takes up a lot of time and it'll be an hour <laughs> that's passed once I finish my main movement. So I'm not really going to worry about that while I'm here. But when I get back to the States, definitely, definitely get back to powerlifting stuff. But but yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like it. Uh, please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.